Good morning, guys. How you doing? It's Vivian and Sammy and our adventures. Um, today, <laughs> we, <laughs> we are going to talk about dentures. Oh, joy. Oh, rapture. Um, where did I leave off the last time? He drilled, he broke, he did this, he did that. The dentist put the new teeth in. I went home with a gauze in my mouth. By the time I got home, oh my God, uh, blood was dripping. <laughs> blood was dripping out of my, out of the gauze thing and didn't stop bleeding until the seat. I had it done at 3 o'clock, left there at 4.30. It didn't stop bleeding until 3 o'clock that next morning. But anyway, here is a little hint of, you know, what to do. When you're at the dentist's office, and, uh, oh, first of all, let me tell you that, you know, when I told you he was pushing on my face and pulling and, you know, I got him back. I got him back because I, I broke his chair. <laughs> I was pushing so hard on the arm that I tore the, uh, arm pad off, so, meh, <laughs> um, there's a lot of traffic out today, hey, hey buddy, slow down, oh my god, he's gonna hit me, you're an asshole, okay, sorry, but that guy was an asshole, anywho, Before you leave the doctor's office, make sure he's going to give you a, a pain medicine uh, a prescription, okay? Make sure they put the code on that uh, prescription pad, okay? Because if they don't put that on there, you're not getting pain medicine, okay? Uh, so, I went without pain medicine uh, all weekend, and um, it, w it was a nightmare for my friend. It wasn't so much of a nightmare for me because I was sleeping a lot, but it was a nightmare for her because she couldn't get anyone to answer the phone. She couldn't, you know was a mess, and, um, so, that's a little hint, I don't care if you have to ask them, don't feel dumb, hey, listen, I need the code on here, you know, make sure it's on there, uh, don't get embarrassed for asking, because, you know, uh, you might need it. Let's see, what else, what else, what else, what else? Um, that's, that's is pretty much it. Well, they told me, okay, you'll come back in 10 days and get your stitches out. And I thought, oh, Lord in heaven, I have to go through another chair incident with you people? No. And, but I took the date. So I am being real careful and, you know, delicate with those stitches, blah, blah, blah. And I went back at my appointed time to get my stitches removed. And she says to me, what are you talking about? I just talking about, I'm talking about the appointment we made to get my stitches out. She said, we don't take out stitches. They, they dissolve. 
I said, well, why did you make an appointment uh, for the stitch removal? And she says, I didn't. Now, I had the card in my hand. Well, it wasn't in my hand. It was in my purse in the car. And uh, I said, you did too. You, uh, why would you do that, you know? I said, no, I came all the way here for nothing. And I said, no, by the way, uh, my, my teeth don't fit. She says, well, just put more goop in there. Uh, and I was very annoyed, but I didn't feel like ending up in jail that day, so I just turned around and walked away. <laughs> At this point, my temper, I was about ready to lose it. So, uh, I figured it was better for me just to walk away. Walk away. So, um, anyway, my mouth doesn't hurt. I've still got things coming out. I got a big old something coming out. Ooh. Hey, Mr. Policeman. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Is he pulling me over? Oh, no. He's pulling out Mr. Trucker Man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He wasn't speeding or anything. We were only doing, uh, what, 60? Yeah. I don't know what that guy did. That policeman pulled him up because, uh, the uh, speed limit's like 70, and we were only doing 60. Oh, dun -la -dun -la -dun -dun -dun. <laughs> um, okay, where was I? Oh uh, yeah, I got uh, any place that they apparently, I have found out that any place that they have to break the tooth off, you're going to have shards coming out, so don't be all, you know, don't freak out if, you know, you feel something sharp coming out of your mouth, because uh, that's supposed to do that. Um, it's to keep, you know, your your body's pushing that a little whatever it is out so it doesn't get all infected, so it's a good thing. Oh, one thing I would suggest if, oh, my hair's falling out. Um, one thing I would suggest is that you tell the dentist you're terrified of the thought of even sitting in that chair and uh, <clears throat> ask them to prescribe you a Valium or something to kind of just, you know, loosen you up a little. So, I think that would be a good thing. Hi, Sammy. Are you done tearing up the back? Huh? I heard you in the trash. I can't do anything about it. And you know this, don't you? Uh-huh. Yeah. He says, okay, she's driving. I can get away with murder. Um. Oh, yeah. Look at you sitting there all innocent like, who, me? Um. Yeah. Do the Valium thing or whatever uh, to ease your your mental thing going. But um, <laughs> so okay, so yeah, I have no pride. So <laughs> I'm gonna show you what I was doing. Uh, I was on the road, I think, to uh, my cousin's something. I don't remember. Um, and I'm on the road, and I'm bored. You know, you get bored driving on the interstate. Not so much on the back roads, because there's always something to see on the back roads. But, uh, yeah, and it was 
later in the afternoon. I was getting kind of bored and tired and my my plates were just bugging the hell out of me because they're they're probably they don't weigh anything but I feel like I have a mouth full of something okay and it is it bugs me so um, I'm sitting there and I, <laughs> so I start to play I'm going like this, putting it back in my mouth, putting it back in, da, 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 da. oh, I'm just having a good old time. enough in my denture uh, life uh, that I, I can pull the same trick on her. <laughs> Not if she watches this video though. <laughs> so anyway, that's uh, that's where we stand right now. I'm having a hard time keeping these babies in, so I'm going to be taking them out. Um, apparently, my swelling went down way fast. And <clears throat> even with two papers on the, the, the thing that sticks to the roof of your mouth, um, they won't stay in. Uh, they rock up and down. Like, if I push this here, the back of my dentures will come out. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Uh, so, as soon as I get back to Tennessee, I am going to call the Mr. Dennis man and say, Hey, we need to talk. <laughs> so, anywho, uh, I paid a... I, I paid good money for this, okay? Uh, I saved, I, I did without, you know, I did it myself, you know, I did it myself, and, and I'm thinking that much money, I should have been treated a lot better. 
hell, for 500 bucks, I probably could have gone to one of these S&M treatment places. <laughs> I got the same thing. <laughs> it could have saved me 3500 3, <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm insane, I know. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. Uh, I hope you got something out of this. Uh, we will continue this story uh, when I go to the dentist and uh, say, Hey buddy, hook me up with a good set. So, take it easy, take the long way home, and I will have more... October stories for you. So, take it easy. Take a long way home.